So the rules are on screen as always, as well as my current score at this episode of the Nuzlocke uh, challenge run. Challenge run, well, moving on, let's make sure that I have everything correct, and we'll try to do things more, uh, naturally, is the stat? Is the strat I'm thinking about? I was thinking about whether I was, well, all perks, Curie, first of all. Scars, it though, too. So, uh, RNG seems to be fair so far, but Dexterity, Knowledge, Strength, Light, Second, Takshi-san. You know, the thing about me, as I proceed to say that, or declare that I'm going to go into Strength, which may or may not be a good thing, um, is that, <sighs> now illegal then, uh, <laughs> uh, is that, you know, when I stick with the strat, there's there's a merit in doing that. Whether I whether I win a lot more, lose a lot more, or end up you know whatever whatever I find out from this, I guess personal experiment. Um, it'll be it'll be it'll be something to know, I guess. Uh, as someone who uh, who loves playing into strength almost all the time. Granted that no strat is guaranteed in a very RNG based game. I mean very RNG. I mean there is RNG scissors uh, scissors. We do have ward. Footage, Flood, Arms. Um, that said, what do I want to do here? Do I want to... No, let's do Scissors first. We we will do Scissors first. Not just because of this well, because of the weapon, but because, but because if we are on timeline B, um, it'll help out to know the ritual, which does mitigate damage if I... Well, we're on timeline A, so never mind. Uh, and I actually want to pick up the scissors here. Strength will still help because you need to brace. Um, otherwise, it's really bad. Do I take this? I forgot. It's not strength. So I, all things considered, that, that should be a fair roll on average. Uh, speaking of which, but what I wanted to say is, yes, my strategy being as it is, as I get funds here, um, I want things to happen more naturally. So if I'm doing a chainsaw play, I want to get a light source naturally. I... Obviously, I have to enable hardware store because that's the only place to get fuel. Um, unless you obviously are using a custom character that starts with fuel, but that's a whole thing entirely. But, um, yeah, or things like going for a cigarette play and forcing funds, even something like that, uh, allowing it to be more natural is a lot better. So 90% or guaranteed 7 for 3 stamina. You know, I that's not so bad. What would I be able to do? I mean, aside from throwing... Well, no, I can't throw the wooden bat because I need to defeat the scissor lady. Um, we do have void. Uh, brr, brr. Uh, what do I do here? Or, I mean, I guess, optimally, if I'm trying to be a bit more efficient, question mark, I would, I would hope that I hit a 10 here, but the chance of this happening is... Let's do quick math because I love doing that. 60%, 60%. Uh, so that would be a 36% chance of getting this. So 36% of the time, or 36% of players, will hit this. I don't believe in myself, so I'm gonna do this. And the next turn, I should be able to kick into, well, prep strong attack again. So I'll be losing 4 stamina overall, which means I'm gonna be drinking this. Um, although I have to hit this kick, so... Uh, but that's better than losing 3 more stamina, on average. There's a chance I miss 2 kicks and take 3 stamina damage anyway. But again, I'm not I'm not that unlucky, I'll say, but I am on average unlucky. So since I want the scissors, yes, uh, I will be going for this. That will increase my doom, so I need to be careful uh, about my doom at this point. Although with the Thotu Scars, what I'm more scared of, uh, or what I should be scared of, are encounters. But that's why I'm grabbing the scissors. Charisma or something. That's knowledge, thankfully. Occult Diary, that'll help, but unfortunately I can't run here, so... We might be throwing the empty bottle, but if it's between losing the stamina for the rest of the run from empty bottle and dying, obviously I'm going to do the thing that allows me to live longer. That said, minus three all is not the greatest thing in the world, but let's do some head math. So seven, uh, I do seven damage here. Next uh, next attack I brace so I can put myself down to three stamina. I have, she's at 20 HP, empty bottle into... Hmm... A wooden bat throw would be... Was it 3 damage? I can't, why do I not remember this stuff? But, uh, yeah, 3, 7, 14, 12. That would be a kill. That's if I'm getting it correct. Um, 
Yeah, and if I were more confident, I would uh, go with that plan of action. But since I'm not... And just to compare, I mean, again, the option of this is always here. But this is a lot worse, because she's at 33 power. So we're not going to do that. Um, so prep strong. I guess... Just to kind of think to myself for about 10 seconds as I reflect on past things, the reason why dodge was good before is because the enemies didn't do as much damage, and even if it was a 50-60% chance to dodge, which is good, I, I'll grant you that. Um, now with enemies doing the damage they do, taking that risk is sometimes not worth it. So, uh, I'm, yeah, I'm gonna do a strong. I don't- I think that's non-negotiable. Uh, I definitely want to brace. But I do need to hit this kick at 90%. And another, an extra point in strength will allow me to guarantee a kick, so that's pretty important. Uh, if for no one else but myself to remember, 5 strength is that threshold. Unless I obviously get panic or something, or I get a nicotine withdrawal debuff. <laughs> you get what I mean. Um, how much was that? We have a log, I might as well look at it. So, well... Yeah, 8 damage overall. Well, 8 damage to getting 1 bonus damage. 14... Well, we're on a throw 2, so this is actually 12 plus 2 for 14 HP. So I should be able to kill. If I don't, I guess I'll just do another run quickly. This video will be longer than whatever it is. I can't even do a heavy attack. Never mind. Scratch that idea. Um, hmm. Uh, so I, need, I did 10 there. That's not good, actually. That's really not... Good. Um, extra point of strength might actually help there as well, but I don't know the exact... Well, actually we can. Uh, I need to start remembering these things for sure. Uh, the smaller details. Obviously things like event stuff is uh, another thing entirely. So, I think I would need like 6 strength, right? To do a prep strong from a desperation attack. Or obviously a combat... Okay, enough enough deliberating. Uh, we're, what we're going, what I am going to do is do this a bit more to kind of inch her down. I think I'm just going to risk the one stamina. Yeah, we, well, now we definitely have to risk the one stamina. Because I need her down lower than this. And I think this should be a kill. Um, we'll do this, and I will throw the empty bottle. We will also throw the wooden bat because we're going to grab scissors. And let's see how much I was wrong by. I think I did need to throw it. Yeah, I did need to throw it, right? I couldn't fit a strong without risking RNG. Again, if I was relying on RNG and RNG turned on... Well, I lost the bat anyway, so the empty bottle was almost worthless. Obviously, there are places to use the empty bottle, but... Uh, since I didn't lose my rest yet... And I'm at 2% doom, so... It works out because I can go to any other mystery and rest, like arms. Uh, which I'm going to do. Because I want to go arms... Or maybe footage. No, yeah, let's do footage. There's a boss in arms, though. Uh, but uh, on footage, you risk. Uh, I mean, it's not so bad if I'm on timeline B arms. If oh, there's flood as well. Huh. Well, I definitely want to take a town mystery. I want to be able to rest, is what I'm trying to say. <sighs> Let's do footage then. Let's do footage when we'll rest here twice, so we don't overcap on reason. And then, uh, let's just keep going. I think I'll, I'll savor the rests. Yeah, I'll savor the rest. So I won't even do any history club because the Cursed Scissors will account for the quote-unquote opener. Um, can I brace into this? No, because it's so bad. Uh, <laughs> unless I t try to decide to take this first. You know, uh, the chance of me, because... Okay, so the thing I'm working out here, for those who don't know, is that I'm going to be taking two res reason anyway in this encounter, unless I do something really, really big RNG. So, uh, the choice is between this and taking two reason, but I get out next turn guaranteed. Or, uh, this, which is 60%, but I can get out with one reason. But if I, to break even, I would need to, uh... To break even, I would need to hit at least one of these out of two. So the chances, so that's why when I'm doing the math in my head, again, this is a whole video on it. I'll, 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 I'll swear I'll keep going on, but so I need a miss twice, which is forty percent into forty percent. 
which is 16%. So there's a 16% chance of me losing two reason and possibly three reason, so basically getting a worse encounter, which is why I would take gambles like this. I normally shouldn't because I'm always scared of 90-95% anyway, but um, a gamble like that is not as scary because, again, I guess the quantity is what I'm looking at, but overall, yes, I shouldn't be rolling on that RNG because it it's literally the same thing as doing a going for an all-for-broke attack where I'm relying on an 80% attack into an 80% attack in one turn to defeat an enemy encounter, if that makes any sense. Um, if it doesn't make sense or if I messed up my math somewhere, please let me know, but that's what I'm thinking about. Ugh. So I visited this mansion to lower the amount of force encounters and got five doom for my troubles anyway, and then and run into a ghost encounter. Granted, I have the ability to sever, but... Uh, thankfully, I'm Kyrie who starts with high knowledge. If I had 8 knowledge, I think i do 6 sever damage? Okay, is, is it a 1 damage per 2 knowledge? Anywho, we will level up here. And we do have all po uh, Yeah, yeah, we'll do this. And as promised, I could heal stamina here. That might be the better decision. But I'm gonna do that. And we do have the lump of flesh, so that's our backup plan, unless we get branded. But... Funny enough, I'm taking the wine here because the stake, I don't want my charisma to keep falling. I know that's a weird thing to say since I'm dying to stamina right now, but... Again, we have the, that's why we have the lump of flesh. That's five stamina, by the way. Uh, we'll grab the mask and we'll keep moving. So we're getting super extra damage if against the human enemy. But human enemies plus one is good, which includes right now, so... Uh, yeah, with the Cursed Scissors, I can do this. I think I saw Pantstaz say that the chance of increasing Doom with Cursed Scissors is 25% or is it 33%? I can go look. We have a record of it unless it stealth changes or it changes and uh, we don't get any notification. But this is strength, right? I think Flea is what I want to do here. Yeah. Um, I don't... I, I'm already at 5 strength. Let's not do anything. So, Eldritch... That's Ayaka, right? So... And if I'm wrong, so be it. One Doom, but 15 experience, so that's pretty much a max threat. That's not too unfair. And I'm getting 15 experience, so it could be a lot worse. Uh, that sword behind you, please. Uh, and it, yeah, breaks. That's that's the tease. There was, I think there's another event by, I think, Epoli's pack has a Katana event. And I also broke that one. So, not nah, didn't break it in terms of, uh... Oh, goodness gracious. Why did I take that? Uh, I didn't break it in terms of, like, you know remove the event entirely, I think, because in one of the events, you can basically get a katana as well. I'm already at 35% doom, really? Uh, <laughs> nice 11 roll, by the way. But basically, I made it so that where you would normally get a katana, you get nothing. So I don't think I even gave myself healing. It's just I get nothing. And that's just because I, you know, that's my one little... I, I did it. It's the one time I'll probably change an event entirely just to make it... And it only makes it harder on myself. So it's not like I'm somehow uh, getting into the mod pack for everyone else. Oh, what I wanted to do is grab the hospital pass. Uh, now that means I need I need to take arms now. Um, do I have efficient rests still? I do. So I'm gonna rest one. I know I had I said I had the lump of flesh, but while we have rests, I'll use them. And let's actually pop in here and hopefully get the hospital pass. Because if I yeah if I get it in one, I think it says me doom right. Let me know if I'm wrong. Um, yeah, because that's 3% Doom, and now going to be 2% Doom, I think, with the upcoming update for Hospital Pass, which allows you to skip at least two investigations. I want to say that for sure. Well, that was a thing. Uh, STE. But... But yeah, basically getting the hospital pass is worth it, if you can get it in one. Maybe even two still, because considering events that and encounters you can run into. So... It, it is worth it. Uh, if only... What do I have? Flood? And those don't count as allies, by the way, for anyone probably wondering. Unless they do, let me know. But uh, I don't want this to turn into an escape run. 50% doom. Where's all that doom coming from? Aside from the scissors, obviously. But... Uh, I have reason to spare, still. So... Do I want to go for the... No, let's keep going. My Doom is already 50%. I do have the Monument, but I'm dying right now, so... 
Uh, yes, I call five to four, five and or four stamina slash reason dying. Uh, is this dexter? No, that's just a guaranteed. Plus two doom, minus one reason. It's not the worst thing in the world, but seeing as my doom is continuing to increase, I need that to not happen. All right, well, let's not be on timeline B. We are on timeline A, and the tiny key would be nice, but again, don't want to spend the doom. Roads blocked. That's gonna be really bad for flood. I almost said, I almost said something, but it's gonna be bad for flood. Basically, um, I should have drank the wine bottle, but it's too late now. I didn't look at my town. Of, oh, roads closed. I was just talking about it. What am I doing? And we'll rest. Uh, I need to rest. I'm. I don't want to die to an event. I keep saying I have the lump of flesh, but and yes, I have the painkillers, but we'll hold off on a rainy day. I'll probably end up taking it, though. 42? Ouch. <sighs> well, now we are going to get the painkillers. At least it's an efficient doctor's office visit, so I can grab the painkillers while getting rid of this cut arm sinew. Even if it's hasty aid, which it's not, we got the luckiest thing to get. But if even if it was hasty aid, that's arguably worse. Unless I get badly bleeding, obviously, but that's just really bad RNG at that point. And some people have mentioned things like that. Um, do I want to risk this? If I get Boreal Expanse, it'd be really bad. That's a 66% chance. Uh, no. Let's not roll on that RNG. Uh, I need to pick up this package because I don't. If I if I can avoid running from this boss fight, I would like to. So let's do that. Let's pick up this package. And visit our friend, question mark? So. And here's where I'm remind well, reminded of a thing, but I want to go off tangent. Uh, what do I get for bracing here? 100%, so. Uh, I think, st if I, I know I talked, I think, no, I didn't talk about it, but I went over it in my own notes. Because brace is 160, soon to be 165 times, str uh, minus strength times 8, so without even looking, so 6 for a normal, well, no, for Brace, what am I doing? So, 6 strength, 6, 48, 48 minus 112, 112, yeah, so that's why this is a 112. Even if we were missing a point in strength, I'd still be able to at least do this, but that's because I have 7 knowledge as well, so, you know, keeping things in perspective, and yes, she's going to, the Bloodsucker is going to leech life, but... I still get to one shot with this. I'm pretty sure I could have one turned her, but that cost RNG maybe? Or maybe I could have done a lot better. Well, it's too late. I've already gone past the encounter. <laughs> Gosh dang, I should play with these things more. I have the time. I'm sitting here doing a recording. Why am I not just taking the time? Let's buy coffee to guarantee that. Do I want to rest one more time? Uh, yes, because this is my fourth mystery, right? I also forgot what my second encounter was. <laughs> uh, it was Scissor Lady, right? I didn't run into anyone else. Yeah, I think because I ran to the Bloated Swimmer and then the Scissor Lady. Uh, let's search the cabinet and fail. And let's visit our friend. So five stamina, we brace for two. Uh, if we were to pre uh, desperate action, we at least can desperate action for... This would be 11, uh, base damage is actually 11, because we're getting 2 damage from Stalkers. No, we're getting 3 damage, because Stalkers, uh, Ethotu, and uh, Core Strength, right? So we'd be doing 23 damage on a Desperate Attack. So we should be doing this to, if we want a guaranteed victory, well, close to guaranteed, close to guaranteed. But now if we're doing 23... I mean, if I throw the Stalker's Mask, but do I really want to do that? Um... Or do I want to take this 85% risk? I think I have... Uh, I mean, I don't have to, but it's it would be a good idea. Otherwise, the alternative guaranteed is to kick, throw mask. No, no, because the mask is increasing damage. Uh, I mean, well, no, I still do. Well, I think this works. Let's try it out. 
Uh, and if not, I guess I'll just die, but... I should be able to do this. This will be 23, and then I'm gonna also throw the mask. And let's find out. Okay, good. Oh, well, 24, but... Almost the same difference. It's not the same. That was the difference between victory and defeat. Uh, not folklore, folklore, folk, folk, lore studies would be nice. Uh, but let's go for broke basically. And I really need to. We had efficient rest all, uh, all game thankfully. But into flood I go. Is there anything I need? Oh, I accidentally clicked out of world of horror. Uh. <laughs> Let's see. No, there's just the forest tapes. We don't need the hospital pass anymore. Can we sell this? No, we can't. It's illicit anyway, but... Flood. Into Flood we go. Um, and I'm pretty sure you get to rest at least once here. Whether that costs Doom in the future or not, you get to rest once and still get... Um, still get... What do I want to say? Uh, still get your all three allies is what I want to say. That was close. I probably could have risked it all, but... Uh, so, I mean, realistically, or not realistically, if I'm thinking about math, sorry for the incorrect phrasing, um, the Cursed Scissors, since if it is a 25% chance, then you need to... I don't want to say that that's 25% Doom, because that sounds a little odd, but... Um, what would that be? Because you're attacking around 10 to 20 times, depending on how many counters you run into. So that would be, again, you have to count the number of attacks, and 25% of those attacks will increase Doom by 1, I believe? So that's about a 5 to 8% Doom if you're unlucky. Again, I'm accounting for my own, uh, my own luck, so I should expect my Doom to increase an extra 4 to 8, possibly even 12 max, but usually 4 to 8. Uh, what was that? A map? Well, unfortunately, I don't have access to my storage, so that would... That's really not great. Also, roads blocked as well. Uh, keeping that in mind. Uh, thankfully, well, one, I just one-shot this encounter. Two, um, if I really believed in this, I, no, actually, I should do that so I have I lower the chance of proccing curses. And I'll add that just in case. But oh well, well, it proccs anyway. But the point is there. Um, I do have lump of flesh, so let's keep that as is. Really? What did I... I mean, kind of what did I expect, but I didn't expect that either. So if I did do a bigger opening opener, I would be dead by now. But... Uh, we will brace here, because we're forced to anyway, and we'll do a guaranteed into a 90%. Either way, uh, we have to roll on a lot of more Doom than we expect. So... Uh, I should be resting once here. I don't know why I'm not resting once, but we do have to eat the lump of flesh, or we die. Curse signs, I don't plan to cast any spells, so it's fine, and this boss is reason only, thankfully. Even though, yes, I say I take a lot of reason damage, I mean, I'm dying to stamina right now, and that's what matters. So I think I do just the big, I just go all in here. I'm just going to go all in here for one turn. And then we will brace for this turn and see what we get. Uh, I think I might as well, yeah, that's... This is the the brace, uh... Attack, boost, attack, and we missed uh, 20%, 30%. We were gonna miss one eventually, um, but this was not the time to be missing that, so... I'm gonna do it again. Thankfully, I don't think Doom increases on Cursed Scissors if you miss. Let me know if I'm wrong, but... Uh, we do get to level up. And, and we do get time skip. So we're actually dead no matter what now, uh, unfortunately. Um, this means I should have used the monument at least once. So I made a cut because they're static, but what I was trying to say is uh, I should have used monument once because it was the most uh, efficient use. And folklore studies will take that. And we'll also increase strength too. I mean, I know we're dead, but let's struggle till the very end. Um, even if I used it once, what would happen here? I'm not branded, so actually I could have been able to survive. But, Dexterity I failed at, Knowledge I succeed, Strength I succeed, Light, I don't have a Light Source, so we take an extra 3 Reason, Second Encounter, and we don't have the 6th Floor. So yeah, I feel confident we would have survived, I just needed to use Monument once, but I didn't know I wasn't going to be taking this much damage. In hindsight, though, it is the correct action to do. So maybe I should reconsider, or it would have been in probably Arms to use the... Um, 
I mean, I did hit one stamina at some points, but it still would have been... I basically still had some stuff to spare here. Oh, I'm burning!